welcome to youth vision institute today's topic table insert table draw table convert text into table or to table so let's uh, have a look let's start we need another page here so just to move to another page go to insert then just click on blank page or page break first here blank page because I need another page here another blank page and then table we have a table now the first option we have table one two three four five how many rows you required and how many table now let's suppose I need to four four column and three rows just click here after selecting the four columns three rows just click that now you can see uh, three column four column and three rows table here if you want to stretch it out little bit from the corner uh, to to make the size you just click here and required size whatever then just write here a serial number name and city phone number or contact number now you can see the table a simple table you just created in the document now if I want table but I need more rows and column but here the very first option which we uh, just insert this table only you can only 10 columns and 8 rows put uh, from the list uh, like this so if if I want 100 rows in 10 columns so what you need to do you just click on table then insert table now put the number of rows and column what you required number of column at this stage we require 10 number of rows let's suppose we need 100 rows then out of it to behavior initially column width if you want the text and the column width um, set it by auto a default size so you just click first if you need uh, out of it to content uh, cell will be increased according to the size of content and out of it to window from the default the size of uh, the page according to the size of the page so first uh, by default we we uh, we select initial column width auto and then just click on ok now you can see uh, after putting inserting table you may uh, size increase or decrease after but like this just click on the top of the table border now make the size increase or decrease then second then third manual like this you move table borders from any side in order to make resize so all these changes uh, you can from the help of the table and insert table and then draw table we have draw table is actually if you want to insert a table uh, but required column and rows by yourself like draw table and then custom table you may see this okay I won't draw like a table like this a required column and the required rows now you can see it would not be possible uh, to uh, draw the table like this with the help of these two option our select table or insert table so we have need another option to put our customized table wherever you want 
put a table column and rows anywhere any any time so this sort of table you may create uh, with the help of draw table like this and then last option we have the last and the final option we have to convert text to table now how i can convert a text into a table if i have a bunch of text like uh, like i have ms word comma ms x ms power point and then ms access ms publisher info path like this now i want all this content convert into a table because i forgot to uh, create a table very fast so i don't waste uh, want to waste my time just click on table and then now you can see the convert text to table just active automatically just click here now there's a dialog box to ask you what option you required is actually number of the column select it auto three columns because we have three words in a row so three columns and two rows is actually because we have only two rows selected then initial column worth according to and then just comma because uh, we want to sap get separate uh, that word into table uh, by commas wherever the comma put there a uh, column then just click on OK now you can see here this is how we can convert a, te a text into a table so uh, this was all about today's lesson which was table in table insert table simply draw table and convert text to the table hope you understand well see you tomorrow till then take care of yourself